we have here a linear programming problem and the question is find the maximum value of z equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 subjected to x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 30 x2 greater than or equal to 3 x2 less than or equal to 12 x1 minus x2 is greater than or equal to 0 and the last is x1 lies between greater than or equal to 0 to less than or equal to 20. So here z equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 is our objective function where the objective in this problem is to find out the maximum value of z and these are our constraints and under these constraints we have to maximize the value of z or we have to find out the maximum value of z. We will solve this problem using graphical method as all the equations are a linear equation. We will draw lines for different constraints. Let us see it step by step. So the first step is draw x1 and x2 axis and calibrate these axis in required scale. For this problem let us take scale as 1 cm equal to 5 unit for uh, both x1 and x2. One can take different scale for a different axis as per the need. And here it is. Now let us draw line for our first constraint and this is x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 30. To draw line for this equation let us consider only equal to sign that is x1 plus x2 is equal to 30. Now uh, we need two points to draw a line. So uh, let us take uh, 0 for one axis uh, one by one and find out the value for another axis. So put x2 equal to 0 you will find x1 equal to 30 from Ebo equation and by putting x1 equal to 0 you will find x2 equal to 30. So here we have got two points one is 30 0 and another is 0 30. Now draw a line by joining these two points and we will get this line here the arrow sign is representing that x1 plus x2 is under less than 30 hence this is our line for x1 plus x2 less than equal to 30 now let's move to the next constraint and it is x2 is greater than or equal to 3 so we can draw x2 equal to 3 line point 3 will be somewhere here and we can draw a line like this and this is x2 equal to 3 line since it is uh, greater than or equal to 3 so the arrow will be like this since it is representing x2 is greater than or equal to 3 it will cover all the values above this line so from these two constraint we can observe that the answer we will get somewhere around this region but we are not done yet since we have some more constraint and similarly we'll have to draw lines for those constraint also and the next constraint we have is x2 less than or equal to 12 and 12 will be somewhere around here so draw the line for x2 less than or equal to 12 like this here the arrow sign is representing that x2 is covering less than 12 values 
and we can observe that now the reason has reduced now let's move to the next constant and it is x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0 so let us take equal to sign to draw the line and we'll get x1 is equal to x2 and we know that this is x1 equal to x2 line since here we have greater than sign which will lead x1 greater than x2 so for any point x1 should be greater than x2 so the arrow will be like this one more constant we have is x1 greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 20 so this will be x1 equal to 0 line and this will be x1 equal to 20 line since uh, it is greater than 0 so arrow will be like this and less than 20 so arrow will be like this now here we have completed the graph drawn lines for all the constraints and the answer will lie on that reason which will satisfy all the constraints that is it will be our feasible reason and by proper observation we can see that this reason is satisfying all the constraints hence it will be our feasible reason now to find maximum value of z we will uh, put values of x1 and x2 for different vertices of this uh, feasible reason in the equation of objective function and uh, calculate value of z and by comparing those values we can find out the maximum value of that z let us see different vertices of this feasible reason and these are a b c d and e hence here we have five vertices now we will find out coordinate of these points that is value of x1 and x2 to find look the points one by one and uh, find which point is intersection of two lines for example point a is intersection of line x1 minus x2 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 3 so by solving these two equation we can see that x1 equal to 3 and already we have x2 equal to 3 so the coordinate of point a is 3 3 similarly find values of x1 and x2 for other points and you will get b 12 12 c 18 12 d 20 10 e 20 3 now let us find value of z for all these five points we have z equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 so to find out value of z a put x1 equal to 3 and x2 equal to 3 in the above equation you will get z a equal to 15 similarly we can find z b equal to 60 z c equal to 72 z d equal to 70 z e equal to 49 and by comparing them we can see maximum value is for point c and it is 72 hence this is our answer and the solution of the given problem is x1 equal to 18 x2 equal to 12 and 
z max equal to 72 if you have any query comment below this is harish kumar patel and you're watching this tutorial on your e studies stay on this channel for more knowledgeable content thank you